guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Crystal and today I'm actually very very excited for this video because this is going to be my first hair tutorial. I haven't really done a hair tutorial because most of the time I just really talk about the hair color because honestly the only time that I talk about my hair is when I'm doing like a review of a hair color brand but that's it and sometimes I don't even brush my hair and that's it. I can go out the door. I just always normally put my hair down because I don't know like I just feel more comfortable like that. I got a haircut like um, like two months ago and it was okay. I like it but I needed to give myself bangs and I actually cut my own bangs here and I was trying to achieve the full bangs and this is how it looks like. I'm so proud of myself because I didn't end up looking like a mushroom or I didn't end up hating my, my hair. So I also added some layers on the sides of my hair and right here. You can't really see it that much but once I show you how I fix my hair, you're going to see all the layers. But I really really love how it turned out. If my bangs start to grow longer, I'm definitely going to do a tutorial on how I cut my bangs or how I trim my bangs and as well as add some layers. So it's actually very easy once you get used to it. Now I'm just going to show you guys how I style my hair if I'm going to a party, I'm going somewhere important or if there's an event. So now I'm going to show you guys what I use to style my hair. I use the Anko Rotating Hot Air Brush and this is actually one of the best hair tools that I've ever used. I'm currently editing this video and I forgot to mention that if you don't have the rotating hot air brush, you can use a hair blower or a hair dryer with hot settings and you can use um, a roller brush so you need two things if you guys want a tutorial on how i do the same hairstyle with a blow dryer and a roller brush let me know because i also have my own method because i also do that when i still didn't have the rotating hot air brush i use a hair dryer and a roller brush for years and there's something new to me as well but just such a big help if you have the rotating hot air brush because you're just gonna use one hand mm, if you have if you're using a blow dryer and a brush you, you need to use two hands so um if you have a rotating hot air brush it's just more convenient but you'll get almost the same effect if you have a hairbrush and a blow dryer i just like to mention that so yeah i just want to let you guys know that there are different ways if you don't have the rotating hot air brush so now let's go back to the video it looks like this and it's actually really really big in the box you get two brushes one is a replacement brush so it looks like this and it's really nice that it came with a protector so i'm just gonna press this and then it's going to clip itself there inside like that all right so um i'm just gonna take a before photo so that i can show you guys the before and after there are two options first it's cool here so when you turn it on wait it's just not plugged in correctly so it has three options the first is cool so this one is just a blower i don't know if you can hear me but uh it's a hot air brush it's supposed to be like a hair dryer or hair blower but it has a rotating brush which is amazing so you don't really need to use a separate hair dryer and a different roller brush i'm going to show you guys the three options this one so this one's just the cool and then the number one number one is when it starts to get hot so there's two there are two levels so this is the first one it's not that hot but number two the air is stronger and it's hotter at the same time and there's this button here you'll press this to rotate the brush like this you can rotate it to the left you can also rotate it to the right which is amazing so what i do is i just divide my hair into two sections at the back so i bring it to the front everything so i will see all the layers and then i'll turn on to number one this is the lower heat and then i'm just gonna randomly grab some sections maybe let's start here 
Oh, I forgot to tell you guys that since this is a hot rotating brush, you need to make sure to brush your hair first because if you don't, your hair might get tangled in the rotating brush. For this part, I had to use the noise removal feature of my video editor because if I didn't, you're going to hear so much noise coming from the rotating hot airbrush. So I had to do it so you can hear my voice a lot better. So that's what I'm doing right now. So I take about this much first because you can't really take much. And then I start to rotate the brush this way, like that. And I keep it there for a few seconds, and then I might pull and then rotate again, and then release. Sometimes I like to um, spin the brush and then pull, spin and pull um, on the ends of my hair, and then I'll end up with this. See that? It's just, it's not even 10 seconds, and you can see already the shape that I want. So I'm gonna do the same for the next layer so i'm not i'm not trying to be precise with this i'm actually just trying to eyeball it and see if i'm doing the right thing and if you want more body on your hair you have to roll it sometimes you need to help also and keep your hair there and if i want more body i would roll the brush near my scalp just give a little bit of space because it might pull your hair and then release. And then I try to roll it again on the ends. Pull, roll, and pull. And then you'll end up with this very beautiful shape. And then I'll get more here. And you can even see the shape right away. And it's like you went to the salon even if you didn't. That's the great thing about this because you don't need another hand to um, do it for you. You only need one tool. So you can do it like this, but I like doing it like this because it's more easy. So I'm just helping the hair stay there as well. You can even use your finger to lock your hair there as you're rotating the brush. Okay, there you go. And then after that, Release again to get to the tip, spin, stretch, spin, pull, spin. Sometimes I, I like to bring it in a little bit more, and then there you go. As you can see, I'm just amazed by this tool because it makes my life so much easier. So again, do the same thing here. And it really helps that it has hot air because it really um, acts like a blower and it really keeps the curls or the waves. So yeah, again. Wow, that's just a very beautiful shape. And then after that, we'll go on, move on to the other layers now. We're almost done with this side and it's not even 10 minutes, which is so good. If you're gonna do this with a blower and a hairbrush, it's probably gonna take longer. But since it's rotating itself for you, it just saves so much time. Run your brush through your hair like this so that you can get that perfect shape okay and sometimes I don't like to curl 
the ends of my hair because I don't want my hair to look short. So sometimes I keep it like that, but I'll probably get a little bit more so it looks even. Okay. Alright, that looks good. And now we're gonna move on to the other side. And this time, it's going to rotate in a different direction. Wait. Like that. See that? Oh my gosh. I'm still blown away by this hair tool until now. So good. Don't forget to put the brush in front, like that, and then bring your hair in. And then, make sure the brush is rotating inwards. So this is what I'm doing basically. Stretch, rotate. Stretch, rotate, and then I'm gonna get that amazing curl. Also, I forgot to tell you guys that I'm slowly pressing the rotation button because if I press long, it's going to really get my hair tangled. So just make sure to press it like this slowly. One, two. Just make sure to don't do it like this because it's really, it's going to rotate fast and your hair is just going to get inside and you don't want that. So now we have a really nice shape as you can see. And instantly I look like I went to the salon. But actually, I noticed that I need more body here, so I'm gonna get. So I'm gonna get only from the top layer, just to give my hair a little bit of shape. So I'm gonna get this part of my hair, and then this time I'm going to hold the brush like this and not like this, because I want to make a nice body for my hair. And then again, I'm going to rotate it inwards. Hot, so don't let it touch your scalp. Okay. Alright, something like that. I'm gonna do it one more time because I don't like this shape too much. I'm just gonna do it like this.
And then it's time to brush all the hair together inward. Also, if you're wearing contacts, um, close your eyes because it's going to be hot. So as you can see, that looks so nice. It's really hard to achieve this um, if you don't have a hair dryer or any kind of hair tool. And then I also want, I also want um, body on top of my hair. So I'm just going to show you guys how I do it. So I'm just going to get some hair here. So this is like the crown of my head. And I'm just going to get this much. And then comb. Uh, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but I'm just going to get all of that hair again. And then rotate. And the same thing, I'm bringing... I'm bringing the hair inside, and this time, um, I'm keeping it a bit longer. I'm keeping it there for about 5 seconds. Oh my god, I accidentally pressed it in. And then release. Okay, so you can see it there that it finally has shape. We're almost done, we just need to fix the bangs. So this is the bangs that I cut myself. Um, can't wait to do a tutorial because I really like my method on how I cut my bangs. And then for my bangs, I just put my hair at the back and then comb it down with a normal brush. And then gather all of your bangs together. And then you're just going to put this here. And again, I'm wearing contacts so I have to maybe protect my eyes with something so I'm gonna turn it on rotate the brush inwards and then you'll be able to get this shape so nice as you can see it has that curved shape so that's really nice and then you can now style your hair how you want. I want to show off the layers. Now you can use a normal hairbrush. Wow, you can see that very nice shape. And then do the same with this side. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is what I'm trying to achieve. And then also for the, for the bangs, I'm just going to bring it to the front with a brush. And then, and sometimes what I do is I put my brush like this and then just do like a retouch for the last time. Like so. Do this as well. So that is it for my hair tutorial. I hope you guys learned something. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click the notification bell. And I hope to see you guys again next time. Bye!